All right, let's divide some surfaces. Now just to quickly recap, because this is going to be helpful when understanding the division of surfaces. When we have a curve, we can describe any point along that curve with a single number, the t parameter. So what one talks about is that this curve has got a domain, and that domain consists of the curve, and every point within that domain can be described using the t-parameter. So since we only need one number to describe a position in this domain of the curve, we're talking about a one-dimensional domain. Now just keep that in mind when we go to the curves, uh, when we go to the surfaces now. All right, I'm going to delete this now, and you can see I've got a curve in Rhino. I'm going to select it, extrude curve, command, and create ourselves a simply curved surface. I'm going to create a parameter, object for geometry, select the surface, right-click the geometry parameter and go set one geometry, and now we've got it in Grasshopper, so just to keep things tidy I'm going to hide our surface in Rhino. So we're going to do the same thing we did with curves but with surfaces now. So when we want to divide a surface, we're going to often be talking about UV coordinates. So what was the T parameter on a curve? Because a surface has got two dimensions in its domain, so we need two parameters to describe any point on that surface. Right? We don't need three, even though it's a three-dimensional object. Right? Usually, if we put a point on a surface, we would need three. We need x, y, and z. But if we say, okay, this point is on a surface, we only need two parameters to describe the position of that point on the surface. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this domain of our surface and divide it. And for that, you can use the divide domain command we have to make sure that it's one for two dimensions, right? And the domain we want to divide is, of course, our surface. And then it wants to know how many segments it's supposed to divide it into. So I'm going to create two sliders. Copy, paste, U, V. And what comes out the other side Take a quick look with a panel. Is kind of like a grid of U and V coordinates. So, and you can see that these are always going in equidistant jumps. So it goes from 0 to 6.4, and the next one adds another 6.4 onto that, so it goes to 12.8. So if we now take these this divided domain and want to apply it to that surface, we need the so-called ISO trim command. Now it's just something you have to remember. Sometimes the naming of the grasshopper objects isn't the most intuitive. But this command block takes a surface and a domain. Right? So we're going to connect our surface and we're going to connect our divided domain and abracadabra we get our divisions. So I'm going to hide the original here. And you can already see, even though we have equidistant spacing in the UV domain, this doesn't mean that we have equidistant spacing in our 3D object. And this is because, once again, the UV coordinates, just like the T parameter, do not describe distance. They are simply parameters of the internal mathematical representation. But this um, way to divide a surface is usually a nice, quick and dirty way to get something working when you want to divide a surface. Now let's hide all of this and I'm going to show you something, a different way to divide this surface. Now because this surface is only curved in one direction, it's not a doubly curved surface, we can actually 
instead of taking a surface and then dividing it, we can already create a divided surface by first dividing the curve we use to create the surface. So I'm going to create myself curve parameter object, set it to our curve here in Rhino, and then use the commands we already know from the previous video. So divide a curve and I'm going to put a little slider here just to control how many segments we get. And say we want to have the same thing going on. So we want to have five divisions in one direction and then five in the other direction as well. So this divides our curve in one direction. And if we now, first of all, shatter that curve, we get our individual curve segments, which we can then extrude. So this takes our base, which we want to extrude, and then a direction. So we're going to connect that. And we want to extrude it in Z direction. There we go. And let's put another slider here to control the height. Right. And now all we need to do is repeat these five panels upwards. So for that, we can use a linear array. There we go, linear array. And the linear array takes a geometry. And you can see that it's already got a default direction. And we actually want to use exactly the same direction as we had for the extrusion. And now all we need is a slider to control how many segments we want to stack. And there you go. So if you've only got a, a surface which is divide, uh, curved in one direction, you can use all the things you've learned about dividing curves to create a simply divided surface. Now, in the next video, I'm going to talk about how you can use the division of a line to create the UV coordinates for dividing more complex surfaces. But for now, just remember that if you divide something in UV, it doesn't mean that you're going to get equally wide segments on your surface. And it's often easier if you've got a single curved surface to divide the line and then create the surface from that. Thank you for watching.